I have done everything expected of me. I'm a good teacher. I'm a published novelist. I even won an award. Here we go with the book again. Ah, uh -huh. ah, there it is. Now I see you don't like my book. This has nothing to do with your book. Too many f Bowden, enough. What, you know better than the reviewers? You're an art critic now? <laughs> Are these your photos? Yes, I took them. Well, they suck. <laughs> All I see are pictures of dirt. Dirt is worthy of hanging on your walls, but years of hard work and commitment, that you can dismiss with one false accusation. Okay, Emily, call security. If I had written about your insipid dirt photos, would that make me more tenurable? The artist reflects on the human condition as we will all one day return to the earth. Would that have sealed the deal? This is not over. Oh, it's over. What are you doing? Bowden, that's mine. Get back here! Bowden! Give me back my photo! Bowden! David Lieban. Publisher Parish. Powerful film. Thank Powerful you. film. A lot of character development in this film all the way through. Does this have a personal connection with you, this film? Um, in a way, I sort of excised my demons in making this movie. I'm a professor, uh, and I had gone up through tenure, and if you don't get tenure in academia, you lose your job. And so while I was going through that whole process, um, I had these scenarios as a creative person about what would happen if I, something terrible, if I accidentally ran over a student, what would that do to my career? Uh, obviously, in the real world, I would do what is right, but it just sort of... Uh, uh, made me think about these scenarios which I find humorous in, in a dark comedy sort of way. But also like the antagonistic relationship with the deans and uh, the kind of bureaucracy that lives in academia was my way of sort of playing with that and poking fun. We did an excellent job. Thank you. So as you're, you, you wrote the, the, the screenplay. Yes. As you're going through this process, you're throwing in a lot of your own personal experiences heading for tenure. Yes. And your trip there, correct? Yes. And then adding a little bit and tweaking a little bit here and there just to juice it up? Or, or is this coming straight from like, hey, this, you think this way as you're going through because of all the things that can go wrong? Uh, yeah, you, it's definitely, um, you know. The psychological side of this film is fabulous. Thank it you. It really is. Thank you. So you would think a psychologist wrote this film <laughs> and really played into the depths of the mind. I mean... My lead character says the things that's my inner mind, you know, like right. he does the things that are in my inner mind. Like I am a, you know, I would never do the things that he had done, but I find what he has done funny right. in a fictional kind of way. Sure. But um, I would say that I did tweak things and, you know, you know, he has a, he was a family man. And so he was really worried about how this is going to impact his family. and. Uh, his job and so he's obsessive compulsive to the point where like everything else is pushed aside from from the reality of it. So um, just also for the for the camera when you're hearing this noise we have an auditorium full of people and we have a lot of soda machines and everything else behind so that's a good excuse to give at least when we can't control the environment right? There you go. <laughs> so but it, it you're in, in your film um, you have an arc for your character. A, a, a tremendous arc through a feature length. Did, did you, as you're writing this script, do you see it happening in your head, the movie's happening in your head and you're just keeping up with the movie? How do you write? Uh, you know, it's different for everybody, but my process is a little bit exploratory, you know? Okay. So, you know, I definitely take on the roles as I'm writing and trying to live it. So, you know, I, I had, a, you know, as long as you kind of know where your ending is going to be, the trick is how to navigate to that in the most entertaining and interesting way. What obstacles do you put in front of the character? Um, and I just, you know, my process is I, I wear headphones with, with white noise, I turn off a little internet, and I just, you know, engage and embrace the characters, and I try to inhabit them as best as possible. Um, where, what does everybody want? All the characters have very specific wants, and so I just try to stay true to it, and the thing kind of writes itself. Now, 
obviously there was 30 drafts when it was all said and done. So the first draft is similar in nature as far as beginning, middle, and end, but like the twists and turns and the, you know, the complexity of it gets refined at each, at each draft. So that, that's kind of my process is that, but I do live it. Right. Yeah. And what kind of professor are you? I'm a uh, professor of film. A film, okay. Yeah. So this is your genre. So this you're right, is. You, you hit right in the, in the heart of it, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, what university, if we're allowed to say, or yeah, college? Yeah, I am a professor at the University of Colorado at Denver, and so I'm the chairperson for the Department of Film and TV. Okay. Yeah. Great place to shoot. You got a lot of different options there for backdrops and you scenery. Know, Absolutely. Uh, I mean, on top of it, um, so the students that I have worked with have gone on, like the, a lot of people that have graduated now have their own businesses in Denver, and uh, I've brought those back, those people to work with me, and then we had students working on it. We shot largely, uh, 11 days of our whole shooting it took place on the University of Colorado Denver campus. So like, it, it's integrated into the, into the film. So I'll ask you some technical stuff, since yeah. you're from Colorado. Have you ever shot high altitude? I have. I mean, I know you're mile high there, but I'm talking about up 12, 13,000 feet. 10, I have not, foot. no. Okay, no. Because you know the lens capacity, lens capacity inside with the pressurization, I wonder if there's any problem with that. I mean, we shot when it was really cold, yeah. <laughs> and so there were certain days where the camera shut down and you know, that kind of thing, but um, we didn't go to that kind of altitude. Yeah. I think your big plus, that side of the Mississippi, well, you got to go a little further, is you have low humidity. We have no We're, humidity. <laughs> here you don't shoot from July, well, end of June through September. It's just, it's brutal on the cameras. Have you been here in the summer in the east? I mean, I, I grew up um, in New York and okay. my f mother lives in Florida, so I'm very familiar Free with this kind of weather. Yeah. Humidity, hot, sticky, sweat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, right? It's beautiful right now. You, you could trick people into thinking it's California coast, but yes. in April. Um, anything on the horizon, a new film coming down the pike Yes, uh, I am working on a new screenplay right now, actually, and uh, it's pretty far along. I have, I would say that it's, you know, we're at draft number 12, I think. Uh, it's about a, uh, it's also a dark comedy, uh, not in academia, and the premise is essentially uh, a woman who is cursed, uh, who um, all the men she has sex with die horrible deaths. And so she's trying to rectify this problem, and along the way she befriends a boy and so it's a weird relationship between, not in a weird way, but like, you know, there's a little boy that desires her and she's just like, you know, I'm trying to get my own space. So it's a, it's a road movie with this unusual uh, group of people. Sounds yeah. like a good film. Yeah. Good premise. I'm pretty excited about yeah. it. Yeah. 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 A good plot twist in that one. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming to the film festival. I'm so Anything happy else to you'd be like here. to? Um, I, nothing really other than, uh, you know, I'm really, Excited to be here, and I appreciate the recognition and the uh, of the festival, and and uh, I can't wait for people to see it. Oh, the other thing is the film is being released. We have a release day on August 18th. It'll be available on Amazon and some other platforms as well. So that's when it's coming out. Okay. Well, that's what you got to do. You got to go check his film out. It is well worth it. Uh, I, you'll hear me say it over and over again. These films, to me, are better than 99% of the Hollywood films because there's Hollywood films are scripted from that accounting department and they got to hit certain points. Yours is scripted from all right here. It's a story that unfolds that he puts onto paper and taking that transformation from thought, well, used to be paper, I guess it, it, does, it, it ends up getting printed on paper does, at a certain point, yeah. all the way to the screen. It's a long process. I feel very honored, honestly, for the, exactly what you're saying is like I actually had final cut of the movie, you know, so I made the movie that I wanted to make, which was really unusual and doesn't happen in Hollywood. We, yeah. No, and you did a great job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.